After we've got our stem cells off of the machine, what we do is we put those into culture on our special protein. We coat all of our culture vessels with a special protein, which is what actually allows our cells to maintain their, their stem cell-like nature. That's what allows them to actually stay stem cells instead of just differentiating into other types of cells. They stay in that a very small number of cells in, in little tiny flasks for about a week. And it's at six or seven days where we finally have enough cells where we can actually physically go in and count them. We can actually pull a sample and load it onto a microscope and see how many cells we actually have. And that's the first chance we get to see how we're doing. And that's our first step where we actually start scaling the culture up and increasing our volume and getting more and more cells. So we use a combination of saline uh, fibronectin, which is a very sticky protein, and then our special ligand protein, which is what actually signals the stem cells to help stay the stem cells. And so we have to coat those bottles and we have to let them incubate for two hours while it's, it's just giving time for the protein to stick to the plastic. And then when we're done, we have to rinse it out, we have to get rid of the coating solution, we have to rinse out our bottles before we put our cells in there. We transfer our cells into the roller bottles, and the roller bottles actually sit in racks in an incubator that, that roll and they revolve, and they revolve at a very slow rate. And what that does is it allows our cells to come in contact with the ligand that's coated on the plastic surface of the vessels, but it also keeps the cells in motion, which is actually a pretty good way to grow cells because it prevents them from piling up on top of each other or even suffocating each other when they grow fairly dense. It's kind of, you feel kind of like a farmer. You feel kind of like a, kind of like a little farmer and you have all of your little cells that you have to take care of.